That's a Bulgarian carrot, so that will actually go orange. If I get that now, um, you'd see some pretty horrible faces. These hot houses are home to some of the world's fiercest chilies. This season's been absolutely amazing. Chili farmer Alex's orders have begun to rocket to cater, he says, for a craze for super spicy food that sets your mouth on fire. The UK is probably uh, a hotbed, if I can say, for, for chili growing because they're not really designed to grow here, but we do. So we get some super hot chilies. <laughs> chilies are measured on the Scoville scale. This Hungarian hot wax has a kick at 3,000 heat units. That's about the same as a dose of traditional Tabasco sauce. This super chili would be too much for many. It's 10 times hotter. The Dorset Naga, which was once the world's hottest, is only for the bravest at 800,000. That's eight times hotter than your average Vindaloo. The Habanero 7 pot at more than a million will blow your head off. These dried chilies are then milled down. There is a global heat race to grow the hottest hybrid. Scientist Andrew Jukes is an expert on measuring the Scoville scale. And then we boil it for four hours. As an analytical chemist, I have to be extremely careful with the super hot chilies because if they get into the eyes or the mouth or any, any of the soft tissue, they are extremely uncomfortable. Five years ago, Nick Moore's love for hot sauces saw him selling American imports in a Bristol market. So big has his business become, he now owns a warehouse in Porter's Head with his own line in Psycho Sauces. We now supply a lot of bars and restaurants with ridiculously hot products, exactly so they can do, go and do their hot wing challenges or the hot burger or whatever. It's a big thing. As we say, three, two, one, down the hatch. Devoured with a relish normally reserved for fine wines, this is the Clifton Chili Tasting Club. Good. Yeah, yeah. Self-confessed chili addicts, they review any hot food they can get their hands on. Their online posts have become so popular, they now get sent samples of new products. Mm -hmm. It's now warm in the back of the throat. And I can feel the warmth in the chest. Okay. It's like a good whiskey. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. There are still just a handful of large chili farms in the UK, but several of them are here in the West Country. It has become a hub for chili growers, hot sauces and chili heads as they look for ever hotter products to raise the temperature of their taste buds. Andrew Plant, BBC Points West, Upton Cheney in South Gloucestershire.